Hey guys, uh, welcome to a new series here. Uh, this is going to be a series on how to build a home. Uh, this is going to be video one and in today's video what my goal is is to show you guys uh, on the computer what we have uh, as far as prints go so that when we get on site after the surveyors through you guys can see what everything looks like in real life with stakes on the ground. Uh, you can kind of have this as your background knowledge to remember what the house looks like. So um, let's just jump into it. We're gonna start with page one here. Let's uh, full screen it for you. And so this is page one of our prints. Um, everything is quarter inch uh, on paper as a foot in real life makes it easy to be able to pull out a ruler at any point and double check measurements. So what we have here is this is the front of the house down here. Uh, simple two car garage, front door. Um, this is a five foot by 16 foot front porch. Um, on the back side of the house, we have a pretty big screen room that's gonna stick out. So uh, pretty simple here. Let's uh, jump over now to the actual floor plan. So with this, now we'll be able to cruise around a little bit and show you guys what we're talking about here. So um, the garage is a 24 wide, 22 deep garage. It'll have a standard overhead in it um, and then what we're gonna do with the concrete in here will be a little bit unique. We're gonna actually put some treated plywood on the framing members coming up, going across the front and coming back down. And that'll give the concrete guys something to pour against. And what the goal here is, is to be able to pour this with enough slope on it to actually have a zero entrance so that the concrete here transitions under the threshold to the floor system in the house without there being any sort of steps here. Uh, the goal with this is to try and get as close to an ADA house as we can without going through and actually doing an ADA house. Uh, it's just, we're gonna build it in, with ADA in mind. Um, the owner is not in a wheelchair and she doesn't plan on being in a wheelchair, but she does wanna build the house around the idea of aging in place and being able, if she was ever in a wheelchair, to maneuver her house without having any issues. So uh, pretty much everywhere we could, we stuck in 36 inch interior doors. Um, I think the only exception that we ran into were these two pockets are gonna be a little less here just because of the space that we have to work with. Um, we did rework this whole area, this L here, uh, several times over the course of the summer with the layout of where do we want the closet, the master bath, the laundry, and the hall bath, or the little half bath. Um, we changed it around a lot of different times, and this is what the homeowner liked the best at the end of it. So right off the garage, we'll have access to the half bath, and then there'll be a pass through into the laundry room. That way, if there's ever people living in these bedrooms that need access to the laundry room here, they don't have to go through the master to get into the laundry. They can go through this half bath. The homeowner at her previous house had a laundry room off of her master bedroom and she said that she actually really enjoyed that and that was something she wanted to keep in the new house. So we did that for her with access to the laundry through her bedroom um, and the other thing she really liked about her old house was having her closet off of the master bathroom so there's not a closet door here there's only a bathroom door with a closet off of the master bath um, we've got two windows one on either side of her bed pretty simple and easy there uh, this is the main living area and this is going to be huge so we have a uh, 312 scissor truss, so it's a 312 on the interior and a 612 on the exterior. Um, that'll be awesome to get a ton of extra height in here and really make this room feel huge. Uh, as you can see, we have a bunch of cabinets on this corner over here. This odd colored cabinet 
is a pantry cabinet and then this is kind of the kitchen with the island and then over here this extra little bit of cabinets is actually a built-in desk uh, made from the same cabinet manufacturer with the same countertops on it so it all kind of flows as one uh, this will be her dining room area and then this is all the great room with the fireplace down here we have two little niches built in on either side to receive a 36 inch cabinet and some floating shelves. That was the look she wanted to do here. And then we have a closet right off the front door so that if she has guests over in the winter time, they have a coat closet to utilize. Um, up here, um, this will be a big set of French doors that will go out into her uh, sunroom. It'll basically be a Four Seasons room because of the access from the basement. Uh, we'll have uh, plenty of room to get heat and air conditioning out here, so that won't be an issue. Uh, but basically just lots of light. Um, two big windows here, three big windows here, an extra big window, and then the uh, door to get outside. Um, the plan with this too that you guys will see on the elevation view is um, we actually have higher grade here and lower grade on this side of the house and we're going to take the dirt from the basement when we dig that up and kind of level all of this off so that she can get out of this door and we're going to do a concrete sidewalk later in life that will go from here all the way around to a port approach on the front. There's also a door on here that will connect into that. And then with the porch, the porch will be um, a little higher so that it can have a zero step into the house. And that will also have um, a sidewalk connected into that port approach in the front. So then on this side of the house, we have the two extra bedrooms. So um, we had to, we split this closet into two smaller closets so that she can use one as a linen closet. Um, in framing, we might change this and just go down to a closet to mirror this one, but just do extra shelves on one side of it so she has room to put any linens and sheets and whatnot like that in there. So this may end up changing yet. We're not really sure. Um, other than that, that's the interior of the house, so let's cruise down to the lower level. Uh, here on the lower level, what we have is, um, this will be used as kind of uh, the utility room. We're thinking of a future basement finish, but we're, we're not sure just yet, so we tried to set it up for it. We're going to rough in this bathroom over here, and when we rough it in, we'll actually put the studs in, and we'll have all of the plumbing roughed in so that there's no question if a different contractor, not myself, is in here doing a basement finish, that the shower should go here, the toilet should go here, and the vanity should go here. Um, this stuff will all be roughed in and ready to go so that there's no question. Um, with the placement of the furnace and the ductwork coming this way, we'll be able to build a soffit off of our LVL here. This is going to be a tripled 11 and 7 8 LVL that's sitting on two wood posts. Um, and this tripled LVL will give us a place to run the ductwork next to. So if we do a soffit later in life, it's a very simple soffit. Um, then the other thing to keep in mind with a future basement is this is going to be a uh, an escape well and there's enough room here to do like a 16 by 16 bedroom in this back corner so um, that'll give her plenty of room to have a future bedroom down there uh, with a small hallway and then a utility room with all of the uh, we need a, a septic pit to actually pump the waste from the lower bedroom up, up and out and then we'll have um, water softener, water heater, and her sump pit. So all that stuff will sit in here. Uh, this will be a, a crawl space but it's going to have a two inch slurry coat on it so it'll still be smooth. Um, up here in front with the stoop there won't be any access to that. This, this hole here for the stoop will just be filled in with washed stone. Then finally, we'll move on to our elevations here quick. Um, this just shows the front, front, back, and the sides of the house with the grade also established on there. So 
Um, a lot of the clay that we're gonna dig up in the hole will end up getting filled to keep everything nice and level around the house. The other thing that I have for you is I have a few different views of um, some of the interior spaces from Chief Architect. So uh, this isn't showing the vault, but this kind of shows what the kitchen layout looks like. This one is showing uh, kind of a top down where the niches will be for the fireplace. This is a lot of light here too. This one is kind of a cool view that Chief does where it puts it all in, in glass planes which look pretty neat. Here's a uh, top down of the area of the house. This is what we were talking about where we moved this layout around several times, but this is what she likes, so this is what we'll do. And I think this one's just a view in the master, so just showing that you can fit, fit a king-size bed in between the two windows. All right, guys, that's it for me. Um, we're gonna wrap this one up here. It's getting a little long-winded, but uh, I wanted to be able to show you guys what was going on out there before we get out there to start walking around so that you have an idea when we do the walk around on the lot itself, you have an idea of what the house is supposed to look like so that all the stakes that are in the ground make sense. Um, that's all I got. I will uh, see you guys on site in the next week or so. Thanks for watching.